what is REMS and how does it relate to Suboxone and Sublocate? So REMS stands for Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy. I know, super exciting. The REMS program is a system put in place by the FDA to make sure certain medications are used safely. Some medicines, especially ones that have serious side effects or risks, need extra attention to ensure that patients use them properly and don't face unnecessary harm. The REMS program is like a special set of rules and safety measures designed to protect people who take these medications. It helps healthcare providers, pharmacists, and patients to better understand the risks and benefits of the medication and how to use it correctly. So here's how it works. When a new medication is approved by the FDA and it's found to have significant risks or concerns, the drug company must create a REMS plan. This plan includes important information like how to use the medicine safely, what side effects to watch out for, and who should and shouldn't take the medicine. The REMS program sometimes requires healthcare providers to complete a special training to understand the risks and proper use of the medication before they can prescribe it. Patients might also have to read special guides or participate in certain safety programs before they can get the medicine from the pharmacy. So talking specifically about buprenorphine, all formulations of buprenorphine have a REMS program. The transmucosal or sublingual formulation like Suboxone and the extended release injection like Sublocade and Brixadi have REMS requirements. For Sublocade, there are three REMS requirements. One, healthcare settings and pharmacies that order and dispense sublocate must be certified in the sublocate REMS program. Two, certified healthcare settings and pharmacies must establish processes and procedures to verify sublocate is provided directly to a healthcare provider for administration by a healthcare provider and the drug is not dispensed directly to the patient. Three, certified healthcare settings and pharmacies must not distribute transfer, loan, or sell, sublocate. Basically, uh, you need a healthcare provider um, on board to get sublocate. You can't just get it prescribed to. So all in all, the goal of any FDA REMS program is to make sure that people get the right medication and use them safely. By following the guidelines in the REMS plan, patients can benefit from the medicine while reducing any potential risks or harms to the patient.